In this video I wanted to talk about the command line, because in my opinion if you want to work successfully and effectively with Git, you need to be comfortable with command line. There's no way around it. And I know there's a lot of GUIs out there, but if you don't know how to use the command line you probably don't really understand how Git works and you can end up in some pretty messy situations that you have no other way of working yourself out of than to go to the command line and type in commands that you don't really understand. So it's really important that you take the time to get comfortable with the command line and uh, your life as a developer using Git is going to be a lot easier. So if we type Git here in the command line you can see that there's a bunch of different commands that we can use and some of them you're going to use pretty frequently and that's why it's really helpful if you set up a few aliases you can see like instead of typing git status I can just type git st and then it's the same command because I made an alias it's pretty easy to set up an alias here I have the git community book and in the chapter about aliases you can see here how it works so if I want to set out up uh, alias for commit I just need to type in this so git config global so we don't have to do it every time we need a new git repository alias and then I want ci to map to commit so now if I type git ci it's the same as typing commit it has nothing to commit right now so that's why nothing really happens another thing about the command line is that you should get a proper shell if you're on a Mac there's a default app called terminal and it's pretty bad so what you want to do is that you want to find iTerm and if you just google it you can find it here it's really awesome and then once you've installed iTerm you probably want to install C shell and you can find it here and once you've installed C shell you probably want to install oh my C shell and you can find that here that's if you're on a Mac I don't really know much about uh, the best command line apps on Windows you can probably Google that it's really important that you have a nice shell environment so you actually wanna use the command line and the default terminal app for Mac is not very good there is a course by Wes Boss and I think it's called Terminal power user. Command line power user, sorry. And you can find that here. Maybe you should check it out as well. So that's it for this video. Use the command line and set up a few aliases. Bye, bye, no, 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 no.